for his keynote speech. Honorary Consul of the Republic of India, distinguished guests, members of the diplomatic corps, UN resident coordinator, representatives of the UN agencies, Chief Executive Officers of Government Ministries, Public Bodies, NGOs, Private Businesses, Members of the Academic Community, Ladies and Gentlemen. Today we celebrate the launch of the Samoa Digital Library one of the components of the Samoa Knowledge Society Initiative project. This national project, which started in 2018, is a joint effort by UN agencies and the government of Samoa ministries, including the National University of Samoa. The project is jointly funded by UN agencies and the Indian UN Development Partnership Fund. The aim of the Samoa Digital Library, SADIL, is to provide reliable and accurate information for the citizens of Samoa to be used for research, for students' work, and for making informed decisions inform our work and our daily lives. I am told that digital library has linked to external libraries as well as links to local resources. In addition, the digital library is trial in the education sector and extended to the ministries, then later for all citizens of Samoa. The COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in a heavy reliance on online technology for working and learning. Hence, the digital library is timely with its wealth of digital resources providing online access to information for work, for education, and for use in our daily lives. As the saying goes, knowledge is power. Therefore, access to quality information empowers people to make the right choices and the right decision, hence ensuring an empowered knowledge-based society. On behalf of the government of Samoa, I would like to acknowledge and thank the following for their valuable contributions to this project. I would like to thank the UN agencies, the India UN Development Fund for funding this project. Specifically, I would like to thank the UN Residence Coordinator and particularly UNDP for coordinating and implementing this valuable project. The SKSI Project Steering Committee for its role in seeing this project through its completion. Last but not least, 
I would like to thank NUS for hosting this valuable digital library for the people of Samoa. We hope that this valuable asset will be maintained and used by our people in ways that will benefit them and individuals and collectively as a knowledgeable society. It gives me great pleasure, therefore, to announce that the Samo Digital Library is officially launched. Lagsungal tay tayo sa uninga, lagwafiongal konsul ng malo in tia Samoa, suyo malo may fafo, lagwafiongal faululungo po kalamewa tina ay malo o fatas, masuyo ako o nanga SSS malo o fatas, afiongal ofisibyo pulingo mtangal wengam falapotongan malo, falapotonga tuma o tim business tayo tas. Sui my university, Ali'i Matamaita. Ole a uatu tai no uma naia, le sao tau tai, ina ua e ma lo, fa tamba suali inga. Ole a so ua tau wai lau ole fa moe moe ole neipuro keti taua, ole sa moa, digital laipu. Ole puna oa fa neio na poa sa moa. Ole neipuro keti, O se vaengol polo ke tele o ta ua o le Samoa Knowledge Society in CAT. A fa Samoa ina o le fama ite mo se society to fa feta lai mo Samoa. O le nei polo ke ti sa amata mai tau sanga ilu a fes full valu ma o lo fa tu pe ina le ma lo o fa tas fa pe le fso swan le ma lo in tia. Mawati na e malo o fatas o le Indian UN Development Fund. Le sinyal na ipo na oa fa na yon na po sa moa. Iya mawo ni fa manu yanga, ma fa manu yaina, iya sao ma ato ato. Pina iya ma fa yon na fa onga mo sa ili ilinga o a o onga le fa nau ay may siya le fa mo mo le fa ngo fa iunga ito tono. O fari fai ngā luenga, ma a inga tai tas. O le nei puna oa fa nei ona poa sa moa. E le e tu fa a maupa, o lo i ei wha enga e fiso o ta i ei, ma isi puna oa mai whafo atu po sa moa. Ato ai ma puna oa, o lo i to tonu lawa o si o ta atau atu no. O le nei wha enga o le polo keti, e amate le wha enga o awa onga, O na faa solo ta tala atu lea i isi matanga luenga na maa loo. A faa sa fuu atu i le atu nuu lau tele. O le anava maa sani. O le uta le poto o le fita lae. O le nau nau ta inga fo i le nei o le nei faa moe moe. I na i a vea le nei puna oa faa nei o na poa sa moa. E utu vai i ai ta nga taa nuu a sa moa. I na i a ta tala le to faa. Ma faa sa fua le poto sa la lau. Ina i aka ma mai ma mawa se so sa yete to faa fita lai mo sa moa. Ia e wele nei a manoe faa fita yei o fisa e se esol malo au faa tasi sa moa nei. A e mai se el malo in tia e ta wala mai ilana in tia UN Development Fund. Mo le se leni sa ta tupe ina i le le u keti. Fafta ia tu fo'i le fa'ulu lungo le po'o kalame, wa tina ea ma lo'o fa tasi sa mo'o nei, ma lana au fai ngal wenga, sa fa'a fo'i ina le nei kuro keti. E mo moli ia tu fo'i le fafta il komiti ale sa ka sa eu. E maise le tato universite au au, mo le fa'a tino ino le nei kuro keti. Ma au te fia fia lawa, e fa'a sisi la atu ma, Ua ta tala lo ia le nei puna oa, whaa nei ona po, a sa moa, soi fua.
Thank you, Honorable Minister, for your inspiring words. I now invite the remarks from the High Commissioner of the Republic of India, based in Wellington, New Zealand, His Excellency Muktesh K. Padeshi. Namaskar and greetings from Wellington. As the High Commissioner of India to Samoa, I send warmest greetings to all of you and especially to Minister of Education, Sports and Culture, Honorable Siula Ione Tuau, Vice Chancellor and President of National University of Samoa, Professor Elek Ikeroma, UNDP Resident Representative, Mr. John Sorensen, even resident coordinator Simona Marinescu and honorary consul general of India, Mr. Leonidas Apete Meredith, who is also like me joining virtually from Auckland. Ladies and gentlemen, two years back in December 2019, the Samoa Knowledge Society Initiative was launched, supported by a grant of US dollar 1 million by India under the aegis of India UN Development Partnership Fund. This fund is a dedicated fund within the ambit of UN fund for South South Cooperation, which was established in 2017. I'm extremely happy that Samoa digital library at National University of Samoa is being launched today. I recall my visit to the UN office in Apia in March 2020, just before the outbreak of COVID-19 and discussing the idea. The knowledge initiative is aimed to promote knowledge-based sustainable development by ensuring ease of access to information for all Samoans. With COVID-19, as NIH Honorable Minister spoke a short while ago, there is now an increased focus on digital resources and platforms. This digital library will help to build inclusive knowledge societies through ensuring public access to information that allows participation in decision-making at all levels. I think knowledge is the most empowering means and it needs to be made available to all. This digital form of knowledge bank will provide people with access to courses, research, training solutions, and ever all to access a modern education, skills, and safer and better paying jobs. Our both countries, India and Samoa, enjoy a warm and long-standing relationship. In 2020, we completed 50 years of the establishment of diplomatic relationship. Not many people know that India was the second country to establish diplomatic relations with Samoa in June 1970. And this is a testament to the importance India has attached to this relationship from the very beginning. India looks forward to strengthening its partnership with Samoa in various areas, particularly in the field of developmental and multilateral cooperation. We have created a robust platform of engagement with the Pacific Island countries under the aegis of the Forum for India-Pacific Islands Cooperation, which has met twice at the level of prime ministers since 2014. India has been extending support to Samoa to meet its developmental objectives by capacity building through ITEC scholarships and through projects for socio-economic development. Another example of our cooperation is the India-Samoa Center for Excellence in Information Technology at NUS, which has been operational since November 2019. I was privileged to be joining uh, its inauguration uh, 
in March uh, 2020 by the then Prime Minister of Samoa. India, as a partner and true friend, would like to extend helping hand in to Samoa towards its socio-economic development. I would be very happy to engage with the Ministry of Education and see how we can work together in the areas of education, e-learning, capacity building, and human resource development. My best wishes to Samoa Digital Library, and I wish the endeavor all success. Thank you very much.
The third component is uh, open access research. We are just populating this platform. Currently, the repository contains reports and publication. Of the National Water Quality Research conducted in 2019 by a team from NUS MNRE New York University, and the University of Abu Dhabi. There's also a report of another national study, the Pacific Attitude Survey on the Samoa. It will be uploaded once it's launched in February. The SKSI website was constructed by Mose Mose of Makeki Online. That's it for our virtual tour. Thank you and God bless. Dr. Taylor. Thank you, Mr. Chen, for that brief demo. We've now come to the conclusion of our program. And to say the concluding remarks, I now invite Ms. Simona Marinescu, the UN resident coordinator, whose role has been pivotal in this project. Thank you so much. Here. Reverend uh, Seilala, Honorable Seula Yuane Tuau, Minister of Education, Sports and Culture, Government of Samoa, Honorable Matamua Seumanu Vasati Sili Pulufana, Minister of Justice and Courts Administration, High Commissioner of India, Excellency uh, Muktesh Pardeshi, Vice Chancellor of the National University of Samoa, Dr. Alec Ekeroma, Honorable um, Luamanuvao Catalina Sapolu, uh, Ombudsman of Samoa, CEO Dr. Caroline Afamasanga Fuatai. I can also see Tilafono joining from the Ministry of Agriculture. Distinguished representatives of the government of Samoa, of the diplomatic corps, um, colleagues of the United Nations, ladies and gentlemen. 
On behalf of the United Nations Secretary General and the United Nations team in Samoa, it is with great honor that I join you here today to launch a project that is very dear to our organization. And we think it's extremely important for the progress of this country. Let me start by congratulating the government of Samoa and um, the National University of Samoa on the successful launch of the National Digital Library. We were here um, a year and a half ago where we were testing uh, the website, the platform, the knowledge platform to see if it's working. So it's good to be here today to actually do a proper launch of this um, project. And um, I would like to also congratulate my uh, distinguished colleagues from the United Nations Development Program and uh, President Representative Jorn Sorensen, thank you so much, and uh, colleagues from UNESCO who have actually worked very hard over the last two years to bring this project to this point. As we launch today one of the key pillars of the Knowledge Society Initiative, which is the Digital Library, I wish to thank the Government of India and the High Commission in the Pacific for endorsing with generosity our requests to the United Nations India Development Partnership Fund in 2019 to allocate one million US dollars for this project. Honorable High Commissioner Muktesh Pardeshi, um, please convey our thanks to the Government of India for the resources made available to the Government of Samoa through the United Nations in Samoa. The Samoa Knowledge Society Initiative established the Knowledge Platform, which, as we have just seen, consists of three components and is not just uh, uh, our idea of Knowledge Society. This is how Knowledge Societies are being built uh, with the support of the United Nations around the world. Uh, the multi-lingual um, Samoa Digital Library, the Lifelong Learning Lab, and the Open Research Platform, where we hope we will see more research uh, in the coming years. While um, digital library is a nice resource to have in 2022 uh, in Samoa, its importance in the life of this society goes beyond its advanced technological nature. Digitizing Samoan content, because that's what has happened over the last two years, be it literature, science, visual arts, public information, including policies, laws, maps, and any other kind of products that have Samoan authorship, serves the purpose of facilitating access to the people of Samoa to something that they own, which is their culture and the public governance of their country. Expanding access to other digital libraries, and I just want to mention that the United Nations Digital Library is now available to Samoa and will be linked to the platform. It was actually linked last time when we tested the platform, so hopefully we will see it there. Um, would be uh, extremely, extremely important to connect the society of Samoa with the rest of the world, to beat uh, geographic uh, remoteness and isolation and connect minds for the global good. Above all, the digital library is an investment in future generations that will be curious about their cultural identity and heritage and who would have access to a resource that has been well preserved and nurtured using most advanced technology and constantly growing. Through the Samoa Digital Library, other nations outside the region will have an opportunity to learn more about this fascinating part of the world and better understand the needs and the aspirations of your people. A digital library is not a replacement of the traditional library, but rather a complement that would outlive the latter and that could allow people to access knowledge resources from wherever they are and to develop communities of practice and interest to grow more quality knowledge for their own good. We were actually visualizing a situation in which Children, young people, older people in the village will be able to use their smartphones, their uh, tablets, and access a book, read a book, or access a scientific, a scientific journal and advance into gaining knowledge into their profession. So that's the ultimate goal of the digital library. We would like to um, mention that in the United Nations, we believe that progress is knowledge intensive that public decisions need to be research-based. And we would like to see this happening in Samoa through this project and obviously with your efforts through more investment into high-quality knowledge production. 
We believe that this is one of the most transformational projects that we have been engaged in um, so far. You may know that we work with the entire society on ending violence against women and girls. We work on developing a social protection system in this country. We work on helping the government to develop a financing architecture for its development goals. However, this is at the heart of what we wanted to achieve to ensure that the transformation takes place over decades beyond our time in Samoa. And as we celebrate today, we must acknowledge the people behind this success. You have heard some of the names, but it's also my responsibility to actually um, name them today for all their dedication and passion for this project. When we put this proposal forward to the government of Samoa, we were advised to come to work with the National University of Samoa, and that's what we did, and we are very thankful for the entire um, commitment to the project vice chancellor and to the team uh, that has worked so hard on um, developing the system to uh, this point. And allow me to um, acknowledge Professor Ioana Chan Mao, who has led this partnership with us. Professor, we thank you very much. You're hiding somewhere. And I also want to acknowledge the uh, director, the ICT dir director, Sarai. I saw her moving around, and also Tony, Mose, Eric, so many other colleagues in this team, I wouldn't do justice um, if I um, attempted to name them all. Jörn um, and um, your team, uh, Jörn Sorensen, UNDP resident representative and uh, assistant resident representative, Christina Mualia Lima, thank you so much to you and to your uh, colleagues who have worked um, together with us, with the Office of the Resident Coordinator in bringing this to this point. And let me also acknowledge uh, my own colleague, um, Yul Bitti, who is sitting somewhere at the back, um, our UN volunteer, and also um, my partnership colleague who has joined tonight, Elisabetta Kerslake, and my communication advisor, Aterina Samasoni Pelle, taking pictures. Thank you so much for staying the course and for bringing us to the point to celebrate the resource. We commit to uh, using the digital library platform, everything that you saw, to present our work as well and to host our public dialogues. So you will see the United Nations being very present on this platform to ensure that we make use of it and we use it to um, convey our strong message, strong commitment to the country, to all the people in Samoa accessing the platform. We also aim to monitor what is happening on the platform. It is extremely important for us to understand who is accessing the digital library, what resources people are looking for, what kind of literature, what kind of studies, and actually adjust the content of the library to respond to uh, your needs. I think this is extremely important for us to share. So a specific tool for um, uh, tracking analytics in terms of the use of the platform is meant to be uh, developed. And as um, Honorable Minister Manage, uh, mentioned in, in his um, speech, knowledge is indeed real power, as it um, fosters all solutions to our challenges, uh, be they in our professional or in our personal life. And as we continue to fight the pandemic, we wish we had the platform, the lifelong learning platform ready a far ago, that we also have our own challenges in deploying um, consultancy and, and procurement and everything that is necessary. We think that um, we are experiencing a paradigm shift in the way we work, the way we learn and how we make decisions. More and more uh, digital resources will be uh, informing um, our everything we do in our professional life and the decisions we are making. We see the transition from the traditional methods of lear learning to new innovative virtual distance learning methods where students, researchers, and decision makers are engaging through e-learning, e-books, e-journals, e-scientific journals, as I mentioned. The future of learning, like um, most facets of our society nowadays, is digital, and we need to move with the times. So Samoa has made today a step into the future, and we are very proud to have been working side by side with you all to make it possible. 
We are indeed thrilled that we have reached this festive moment in the life of the Samoa Knowledge Society Initiative, and we will not call it a success until we are assured of its utility for the people of Samoa. Thank you, Mrs. Marinescu. Let us show our appreciation to all those who have been uh, acknowledged by Mrs. Marinescu, who have contributed to the realization of this project. Again, I invite Reverend Luman Vai to say the closing prayer. May peace, love, and fellowship of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon us all now and forevermore. Amen. We are si fanga mau lunga la sunga li sak. O kala ke unga fa kupu ke ke unga fa kamali. Pali unga fa o yele sunga ya faka. La kau kala lo yai 